saw in the corner of six and eight. I'm gonna say, who would have thought there we'd be intertwined and quite the same? We are the only game I wanna play today and tomorrow. All my dog clothes. Welcome to Cupcakes and Dolls. So, to, so if you've watched my other two videos on doll clothes, I did doll shoes just last, then um, you should go watch that if you haven't. And the reason why you have, I have you in the single because this is the biggest pile and I'm going to go through it kind of fast because I don't want to make four different episodes. But yeah, so let's get started. So I have some hats in here. So this hat was bought at the doggy store, and my dog does not wear it. I put it on him sometimes, but I use it for American Girl sometimes, too, if I want to do a skit with a cowboy or something. <laughs> so sorry if the music's kind of loud near you. I'll turn it down. Um, then this, I don't really use this for my American Girl dolls, but I have it on here. Um, I use it for, like, if I'm doing, like, a stop motion or something. And I do make stop motions, but not post them because um, it's very hard for me to do them. Because um, I have a Chromebook and I can't really, you know, you know how it is with a Chromebook. But I hope to soon get a um, MacBook very soon. So this is just a hat and it went with a baby doll, I think. Or it was my baby hat. I think it was my baby hat, yeah. And then this went with a retro 50s outfit and it's just a bandana and put it over her head. This is Samantha's neat outfit. If you've seen the um, photo shoot I've done, um, Emma Rose was in this, and it looked really cute on Emma Rose. This is Molly's robe, and I love, love this. It's like one of my favorite sleepwear things because it, if you feel it, I don't know if y'all can feel it. <laughs> y'all can't feel it. And then this is like rope, and it's so cute, and it's really soft. And I just, and this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Then this is, um... I think this came with Molly, actually. This actually came with Molly. It looks like Samantha's, but it came with Molly. Tell me if y'all um, seen this in her collection, because she, I got her when she was retired. She was in a thrift stop, and for like five outfits in her, she was on like $192. So I didn't know my mom was gonna get it, but my me got it for me for Christmas. So if this is in Molly's collection, please comment down below. And if it's not, then comment down below of whose collection this is, because it might be just, Maybe Samantha's old hat because it doesn't really fit Molly. But oh yeah, and this is a hat I just knitted or crocheted. And um, I'll tell you the story of this. It looks like it's a pattern, but actually, um, <laughs> I ran out of white yarn. I know I, sh I should have been more careful. And yeah, so if you'd like a tutorial on this, comment down below. Um, I can teach you how to crochet. It's very easy once you learn it, but it's very complicated at first. And it looks really cute on my doll's hair. I'll try it on. Caroline, Gloria. Well, I can't put it on Caroline, actually. I'll put it on Connor. Hold on. I'll put it on Connor. So this is what it looks like on him. And I'm making this video even longer by showing you what it looks like. But I've tried 40, like, a couple times because the hat was never big enough. And it, as you can see, it looks really cute on him. I don't know how to make a beanie yet, but I'm going to look that up online. But, yeah. So, let me put him back here. And um, let's get started with the rest of the clothes. So these are just some pants and I usually put them on Connor because again I don't have any boy clothes but I sewed these. This is Molly's I think um, holiday dress. I don't know because I didn't get, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it and I never saw her in the store so it's her, I think it's her holiday dress. Comment down below if I'm wrong. Oh yeah and then this in our generation the writing um, jacket. I don't know when I got this. I don't know who got it for me. I just have it. And then it comes with this little riding hat and I use it as a gangster hat. Like. Ah. 
Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> okay. And then this is a baby doll jacket, and I use it as a windbreaker. It does, it's really big on my dolls, but I still like it. Samantha's nightgown. If you've seen the um, first video I ever made, it was um, when I got the Edgy Place Houston, Texas, and this is what I got. Samantha's nightgown. It really improved from that month ago. Then this is actually um, stuff you sew on something. But I didn't really want to sew it on something, and I use it as a boa. So if um, Emma Rose wants to dress up some days, you know, she can. And then I'll show you this real fast. This dress came with that coat I showed you in the very first video. If you haven't seen it, go look at it. It's a matching coat with those striped socks. And it also comes with this hat. So there's two outfits that come together with the socks, and it comes with this cute hat. And if you put the coat on the doll with the hat, she looks like a flight attendant. No kidding. This is an our generation, um, this is an our generation dress. Yeah, and I don't know where, I, I think I got it for my birthday last year when I turned 11. And then this is um, the jacket that goes with, the jacket doesn't fit that well, but it's cute for decoration. Let's see. This is Caroline's winter coat. And I have it on hanger. I, I don't really use it as much as I should because I tell you something. If you live in Houston, if you don't live in Houston, it is freaking hot here. I'm no kidding. So I can't take winter photos because it's hot. And I'm like, dang, I didn't get a chance to do winter because, well, during Christmas time I couldn't because, you know, holiday and stuff. Oh, and I think this is actually um Molly's little um, holiday dress because it has the holiday colors on it. I don't know what that other dress was, but I don't know. And this is not on a hanger, but this is a shimmery outfit. And if you've seen this last video, the matching shoes. So I love this outfit. I really like it a lot. And it looks so cute on Emma Rose. I should do a photo shoot, but it's not called. Then this is Molly's B-Day dress, birthday dress. And I need to iron this down, kind of. But, yeah. Oh, let's reach over here. My arms are getting tired. This is an our generation um, dress. I think it's one of the retro dress. I don't remember who got it for me. I think my mini got it for me. But actually, I don't know if this is even our generation. It doesn't have a tag or anything. No, it's not our generation. It is OliviaWears.com. So go to her if you want a cute dress like this. And it looks 50s, like a diner dress. So sometimes um, I make a bakery with those table and chairs you've seen in videos. Um, and, you know, she's a little diner, so yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Rebecca's meat, old meat dress. This is, um, and I was trying to sell Rebecca on eBay, but now Rebecca is Connor, so I don't use this at all, actually. I think I should do a giveaway for it. Comment down below if you think I should do a giveaway for it because I don't like it on any of my dolls. It's not that it's not pretty, it's just I'm not a big fan of velvety red. And yeah, so comment down below if you want me to do a giveaway for this or put it in my giveaway basket because I have a giveaway basket. And then let's see, this dress I made, and I know it doesn't look like much, but it looks way cuter on the dolls than it does on the hanger because it goes kind of tight right here and makes it really and yeah, so I sewed that myself. This is the matching hat for um, Caroline's winter hat. And I don't know what happened, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like this because it's like, if you see right here, it goes up like, do you see it? I don't know if you probably can't notice it, but you see how it goes up right here and it's short right here? Is it supposed to be like that? Comment down below if it's supposed to be like that because I just don't know. I don't. <laughs> so if this is getting really boring, do not exit because there's something at the, you know, end of us. So stay, stay. Then this is the old generation 50s dress. And it's very poofy. It has this yellow tool under it. And it looks so cute on Emma Rose. I say Emma Rose because she's the only one who can wear this kind of stuff because she's so adorable. She's so far back. Oh, so I know I'm hyper, but 
It has a cute little bow on it and it's red plaid striped. It's like a plaid, I think. And then in this little basket, and this is not what I keep my doll clothes in. I keep them in a, this is um, Caroline's birthday dress and they match those birthday shoes. This is the second dress I got ever of American Girl. Very horrible. And I like this dress a lot because if you see all the nice details to it, it's very, very nice. Yeah. And the back is just plain. And the white collar. And such. Then, this is an R generation? No, I think it's Madame Alexander. It has a tag somewhere here. Let me see first. I think it's Madame Alexander. I don't think it's all generation. So if you like it, sorry, it's not all generation. This is Madame Alexander and it's a tracksuit and um, pink pants and a pink bow with polka dots. And I got this a long time ago before I liked American Girl. I liked our gen er, not our generation. I keep saying our generation. Madame Alexander a lot. So, oh wait, it's not Madame Alexander. Oh yeah, I forgot. I had a matching outfit. It's Dolly and me. So, I don't think you can find it anymore, but I gave away the matching outfit. I mean, my mom did to my little niece, or not niece, cousin, my little cousin, Amanda. So, I disappointed her because, yeah. So, go on dollyme.com if you like matching outfits with your doll. And then, let's see, these are two headbands. <coughs> Sorry, that's my cough. This headband is like a bandana headband. Oh, and I don't know why it's so blurry like that. Oh well. And then this goes with the, um, that black outfit. I don't know if I showed you in this one. Maybe it was the other one. No, I showed you in this one. Let me find it in this pile of clothes. <laughs> this outfit. It matches this outfit. See this? This is a headband for it. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and like. And comment down below if you want um, to know anything and what videos you want me to do next. So, bye!